My name is Habib Saher. I am a sculptor and visual artist. This exhibition is a kind of fruit of my thoughts, the result of uh, my long thoughts. And, um, you know, I wanted here to make people realize and think about what is life and, you know, this concept of time that we are just here, now we are living, and one day we will face death. And to appreciate it, you know, I have been reading and I have been influenced by this ten poet, uh, Omar Khayyam and his poems have really deep effect on me and, uh, as, and also one of the uh, works here is dedicated to this poet there is a work, there are three um, texts on the wall and these texts uh, are made of a material which will fly away and the, there is a poem of Omar Khayyam a Rubai, as they say and this poem, it talks about why are we here and where are we going. He's, uh, he's just, you know, he doesn't see any meaning, I could say, in life. And this poem is very close to a late um, existentialist philosophers in France, like uh, Albert Camus or Jean-Paul Sartre. They also don't see any uh, meaning in life. One of my friends, uh, resembled this installation to Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, famous Irish scriptwriter. And you know, in this script, which got very famous at the time, uh, there are two people waiting for somebody who doesn't come. All the play, they're just sitting there and waiting, talking to each other, and uh, believe that this person will come, person called Godot. And here, Beckett somehow suggests that the life has no meaning. You know, we're just waiting and waiting and no results. Also, like this work here, this installation, uh, this is a kind of, uh, that kind of approach. The main idea here was that we have all of these people around us and we never think about that one day they will leave us. For example, our parents, our grandparents, you know, there's some kind of thought deep in our mind that one day they will leave us and somehow we will be there when they leave us, when they die. And we don't want to think about it. We never want to think about that we will see our grandparents leave, we will see our parents leave one day. And we always somehow chase this thought away from our heads. And one other thing I wanted to uh, mention somehow to show in this exhibition is, you know, the approach of us to an object. Like, for example, you see an object and a sculpture, for example, and you just look at it as object which is here, which will, which will be here. It has always been there, always have, will be here. But when you know that, if I, for example, I tell you this is the object and I will break this object in five minutes, then your approach, your feeling, the feelings of the viewer change toward this object. You know, it's not just any object already. It's somehow going to destroy. And that's the other thought I wanted to mention, like, the relationship of the viewer and the object, the sculpture, changes after they know that this sculpture will be destroyed very soon. Like it's not here forever, it's not, it will not remain in history. It's just some living object, some kind of metaphor of human itself. We are here today and after a few years it will not be.